So the first question is there, what interests you about a career in engineering? Well, engineering is a very vast business sector and it's full of different areas. You've got your design and you can move on once you're in the engineering industry. There's loads of different branches you can move on to if you want to go to surveying, architecture, all different ones. And so if I say, if I, I've got an interest in engineering, I have done for a long time, but if I can get myself into that sector, yeah. which I already enjoy, I can move on to a variety of different things to suit what I want in life. Yeah, cool. It would lend itself to this role. I'm very punctual. I always get on time, smartly dressed. Uh, I've got a willingness to learn. I don't back down as such. As well, I'm very communicate. When I communicate with people, I'm easy to talk to. Yeah. I'll listen to feedback. We're well in a team orientated business which I think getting feedback from other people learning from other people is one of the best things for you so you can learn because everyone makes mistakes but you learn from other people's well-beings and get yourself like right in there also I because I'm doing my, I've done my levels in design and chemistry physics so I know a decent amount about manufacturing processes material properties Doing all, I've done CAD work in the past using 2D, like Techsoft 2D design and AutoCAD, the sim basics and advanced, just yeah. to get a, a, a broad range. I believe once you know the basics in one CAD operating system, mm. then you can pick up all the others easily yeah. and they just click with you. Yeah. And so I've been teaching myself how to use AutoCAD at home on my personal computer, but I've been using Auto a tech soft at school which is the one that we use at school mm. so that's that's been quite interesting and fun and enjoyable good um, what do you as hobbies and interests what do you do in spare time um, DIY man help me dive around the house love getting out and about go and do sports go to the gym don't mind so I socialise it's having fun uh, mainly building I've built my own computer in my desk it's weird, like you'd have to see it, but it's like integrated desk, did all the costing, wiring, everything for that, riveting. Uh, just learning from my dad basically when I was younger. Wanted tree house, building a tree house, all <laughs> sorts of things. I've always had that mindset of doing it. Brilliant. Building. So would you classify as your biggest achievement to date? When I was younger, in my early teens, I was very scared and shy and I've been doing chemistry for the past couple of years and I got the option last year to go into a younger year class, teach them without any teacher supervision, just to put something on my, because like, everyone got an option to put on CV and I said yes. And so I prepared for this lesson, combustion of alkenes and stuff, went in, did a whole practical with them and that really helped me boost my confidence and learning how to speak to a a wide range of people because that's really difficult and I've had a problem with that for a long time. I used to have a problem with that for a long time but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that days speaking to a large range of people because I've learnt it from teaching the younger Brilliant. years. So what qualifications do you hold that might be relevant to this area of work? GCSEs, I've got GCSEs in design technology, math, science, all your basic ones, all decent grades. B's upwards, uh, A-levels, got an A-level in design, and my coursework's already marked an A, so I'm just waiting on the actual test, because I don't get that till August, mm -hmm. and I do physics and chemistry as well, and they all lend themselves very well with the material side of things, because mm -hmm. you can know the material properties, how much it costs, what's the structure, integrity of them, so they all work, coincide with each other which fits really well within the design engineering industry, really. Yeah. So I've just got a broad range of knowledge, really, about this area. Cool. Great. In school, we use Techsoft 2D Design, yeah. which is, I'm guessing you've heard of it, it's just simple yeah. 2D, okay. simple rendering. And then at home, I've been teaching myself Autodesk, AutoCAD 2018 yeah. for the past couple of months, just getting a, a wider range of a 3D software. What made you do that, then? Your what, just what? my own initiative really is just I thought I'm not, after, especially after my exams I don't want to just sit around doing nothing mm -hmm. so I thought you know what I'm going to get this software 
I can help my dad out with a couple of jobs as well on the side because he uses it and just learn because it's a really useful software to have in life to say, yeah. oh, I know how to use AutoCAD, I can do that for you.